Hi, this is John Hamilton and in this short video I'm going to share with you one principle that will change the way you look at stroke rehabilitation. This concept I want to share with you is the foundation that all stroke rehab should be based on, is the concept of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity refers to the ability of the brain and nervous system in all species to change structurally and functionally as a result of input from the environment. You see, prior to the discovery of neuroplasticity, scientists used to believe the adult brain was a fixed and rigid structure incapable of change, like it was set in stone. But practically, we knew this wasn't the case. As adults, we have all learned new skills or hobbies. Think about the first time you attempted your new skill. Maybe it was a musical instrument, a new sport or a task you had to do at work. Initially, the skill was hard and you probably weren't that good at it. However, over time with practice and repetition, you got better at it. That is an example of neuroplasticity in action. The brain adapted and changed due to the demand placed on it. Your brain has changed and adapted to the environmental stresses, the repetition of the new skill that you placed on it and it rewired itself. This same rewiring of the brain is the same effect that happens with stroke recovery. When we hear stories of people who were unable to perform a certain task after a stroke and then after stroke rehab, they were able to. The ability of the brain to change and adapt to the environment demands we place on it should form the foundation of your stroke rehab. Unfortunately, for most people, it doesn't. Common things told to stroke survivors all the time. You've done six weeks of stroke rehab, that's enough. Or, that's as much progress as you will make. If you understand the concept and application of neuroplasticity and how the brain can recover and adapt, it should change the way you approach and apply your stroke rehab protocols. Neuroplasticity has been the foundation of exciting stroke recovery therapies such as constraint-induced movement therapy and mirror therapy, but more about those later. If you want to discover more exciting and groundbreaking ways to improve your stroke recovery, then you can check out the Stroke Rehab Handbook available from my website, which it also has lots of other free information. Visit my website by clicking the link below.